Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at some old military surplus here and its many uses. This is the M60 barrel bag. Alright, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for uh, checking out the channel. What we have in front of you here is an M60 spare barrel bag. <clears throat> These were made for our troops to carry an extra barrel for the M60 machine gun. Most of them are kind of around Vietnam era, the ones that are out there. And for the most part, the ones I've seen in surplus stores are in pretty good shape. The bag has two pockets. Uh, they're perfect for any kind of uh, range bag you can think of for certain weapons. I'm going to give you a demo of what guns will fit in here. Now, the first thing you're thinking probably is a pistol grip shotgun. Now, a pistol grip shotgun will fit as long as your angle of your grip on the back isn't ridiculously long. If it's a straight down pistol grip, it'll fit in there perfectly. But the first and most obvious thing that I'm sure everybody's thinking of, or at least some are, get out of there. I got it caught on the light. Flat. These things always happen when I'm in the middle of a video. The first and most obvious thing is the, of course, Caltech Sub 2000. And the reason that caught is because I have a light on top there. Mine's a Gen 1, but folded up, you see, it takes only a little bit of the bag, and you can stick a cleaning kit, some extra magazines, whatever. Um, these are Uzi mags, but they're about the same size as the mags that gun takes. You got pockets along here that would fit up to uh, two or three of them, depending on how many you could squeeze in there. And another pocket here for a cleaning kit, um, anything else, extra ammo, loose, box, couple boxes of ammo. So anyway, you got the Sub 2000, that'll fit in there. Now what attracted my interest to this originally uh, was this guy here, underfolding AK-47. If you've got one of these underfolders, let me make sure you got it in the camera there, you know how the stock folds underneath. This will be your favorite carry bag for it. And it's kind of neat too, it makes a nice little conversation piece at the range. But it's also an awesome truck gun um, bag. You can seal that right up. I mean, you got to toss it in the cleaning kit. You don't really need to put a cleaning kit in there. But you can seal that right up. You can stick an AK mag in there. And another one on the bottom here. Uh, this one really only fits 20 round mags. Um, you can do a 20 round mag in the gun and seal it up. And you've got yourself a pretty decent truck bag, uh, truck gun bag. Um, it has a strap here for carry. It also has the shoulder straps. I didn't bring them out. Actually, I forgot to bring them out. Uh, but it would work perfectly with the shoulder straps too. Now, this isn't something that I would consider carrying around with me, say, when I was using my hotel gear, you know, if I'm staying in a hotel or something, because it kind of does scream weapon. But for taking it to the range, for carrying it in a bug out situation inside your pack, for carrying it in your vehicle as a truck gun. Something like this is awesome. Now the last gun that I'm going to show you, let's get that guy out of here. Yeah, it took me longer to get my guns out of my safe for this video than it did to shoot the video. <laughs> it is an Uzi, all right? Now this Uzi can be any kind of nine millimeter carbine you can think of. The Uzi folds up nicely, fits right in there perfectly. Um, of course, as I showed you before, you know, you can stick at least two here and two up here of Uzi magazines. And that goes for all the little new uh, 9mm pistols, the uh, AK pistols, the crank little uh, pistols. Anything like that that you're going to carry in your truck, um, something like this, great deal. They are about 26 to 30 bucks. You can find them online for that. Um, I actually got mine when I was working for uh, Rifle Dynamics a few years ago. I was helping them get caught up on their backlog, and I was digging through the piles of customer guns to get, you know, to get them in order and by date and name, and I came across this, and I asked Jim if I could have it, and he was cool. Let me take it home, so I got it for free. Um, but yeah, this makes an awesome little truck gun bag, um, and don't forget too, this can carry um, your woodworking tools. You could stick an axe in here, a machete, a couple of knives on the outside. So if you wanted to strap something on your bug out bag that had your, all your woodworking tools in one place, well, it's rather big. 
it would work if you want to protect your tools from the elements. So, all in all, that's the review for the day. It's the M60 spare barrel bag. They come with lots of different stuff marked on them. This was manufactured December, looks like 81. It's in pretty good shape for being that old. I haven't cleaned it up at all. Got a little dirt on it, but other than that, it's in pretty good shape. So, that's the video for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click like. And we got more videos coming up. This is the time of the year where I kind of slow down with videos because it's our busy season for our business. But um, I'll at least try and get one up a week, maybe more. So we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.